Welcome back to Varnberg Implement and one topic that comes up is tread settings of your tractors. Uh, the wheel spacings. Uh, some people are looking for widths, you know, outside width here. Um, a lot of the tractors, if you see the front edge of the bucket is right there. They're set up so the back wheels are just inside the bucket. But some people want to expand and extend these out for more traction and stability. Uh, some people are looking for the width in between the tires for getting over windrows or maybe in a row tree like tree row op operations like orchards and that type of stuff. But what we're going to talk about is there's some options. There's basically two different styles of of tractors. You've got the actually three you've got a welded wheel that you have no option you have a welded wheel like this front on this 1800 e series or the backs here this wheel is welded solid the center dish to the rim is welded and there is no option to change your tire size or tire widths as we move up in tractors like this 2860E, you'll notice you have a center dish and rim. And the same can be found on our 2600H series on our back tires. We'll slip over here by one of them. You can see that dish. The dish is bolted to the rim here. And then as we get into our global series, we can see our fronts and our rears can be adjusted. Uh, this is a is the second type is an adjustable style rim and wheel setup We're going to come over to this Tractor because we don't have wheel weights on it and you can see it real close and then we're going to go show you the differences this is Your outer dish that can be dished in or dished out and then you have a rim so there's a multitude of op of Adjustment things roughly about eight different ways that you can set them up the items that we talked about, the wheels that we talked about before, are for what we call a fixed axle, um, basically a flanged axle. Now we're going to get into this big dog. We got the 7724 here, and on the back wheels, we have bar axles. There's short bar, long bar. This one's actually got long bar because we can actually run a set of duals, an inside tire and an outside tire for better traction flotation and stability on that you have what we call this wedge lock this piece right here is is tapered to go into this hub goes into this hub to lock the position on the act on the bar axle so you can move this whole system here in or out uh, depending on where you need it and you can do the same thing here you can actually see down in there and you've got another set of wedge locks um, so you've got room to adjust that in and out um, and that's you've got a cast center on this one with the rim with the basically the dish and the rim are mounted to this cast center so your adjustability is done by the wedge lock versus changing the the rim the the wheel center and rim combination um, that's basically four different types because I didn't think about the bar axles um, until I looked over at this tractor but you can see your dual hub and inside there's your other wedge lock there now we are back here with actually a wheel center and a rim separated and I'm going to be able to show you a little easier uh, the ability to to adjust if you look here this is dished in if we flip it this way it's dished out so if our flange was here we could either have it this way or we could turn it and put it on the flange that way to get two different dimensions now if you look at this this rim you can see that side is wider than the other side. 
got my tape measure and you can roughly see this is eight inches on this side and on that side it's about five inches you could mount that that real center on this side to the dished out so you could have that wheel center dished out on the inside or you could put it on this side and it's going to move the tire in a little bit plus you've got the ability to flip-flop the rim flip-flop this wheel by turning it uh, around and you've got two different dimensions too because you got to remember your tire size you'll have to flip tires from side to side to get that difference but you've got really four different points on the wheel rim on which side of the lug that you bolt to narrow side or wide side and then your wheel dish dished in or out so you have several different combinations when you're working with a flange style axle uh, with a with a bolted wheel center and, and rim combination we hope that helped you learn the different types of uh, adjustability options that are available on tractors uh, there's different tires and wheels flanged axles just like this is a flange this these are bolted directly to the end of that axle shaft um, the, the, fl the fixed flanged axle style the sh the bar axle style like on the 7700 s series there uh, or the welded rim systems this is how you can adjust to meet your needs as far as width for stability narrowness for getting for hanging operations or tree orchard operations or mowing needs and that type of stuff work with your Ma local massey ferguson dealer and like at varnberg implement that is part of our final uh delivery process is is setting the tires and wheels to meet your needs i hope that helped you learn that there are some options as far as tread settings on many of the tractors from massey ferguson uh, come check them out uh, pretty much adjustable wheels are going to start from the 1800 m series tractors and on up uh, the smaller tractors are going to be a fixed style rim with no adjustability if you're in west central missouri right there varnberg implement we're the place to come and get your tractors at we're located in higginsville missouri just 15 miles south of lexington missouri just four miles north of interstate 70 come to the first stoplight here in higginsville missouri on missouri 13 just east of kansas city we've got tractors We've got a lot more coming. We have got a huge order bank and we've got a lot more tractors coming. Inventory is still a little thin right now, but you're gonna see that change in the next couple of months. Uh, unless we keep selling them like we have been. Tractors are red hot, great interest rates, great financing. Even Bone says hi. He says it's the last tractor you'll ever need. Come visit us at Varnberg Implement where we're gonna teach you to do more so you can get more and enjoy more from your Massey Ferguson.